we were just saying before the interview started, long overdue. We've done several over the, uh, the computer. Now we're finally in person. Dennis Bazooka, ahead of his UFC Atlantic City fight. How you feeling, man? Happy fight week. Thank you, bro. Thank you for having me. It's Like you said, it's long overdue. Oh, yeah. um, I actually feel amazing right now. This is the best fight week I've had. Uh, best I've felt. My weight's been the best. I'm in the best shape of my life. I am very excited to get in there Saturday night. And yeah, I mean, you texted me when we were talking a few days ago. You said, I don't know, we'll see how my energy is. You're buzzing today, man. You're jumping up down the hallways. You're ready to go. So very glad to see you're in good spirits and uh, good health ahead of the fight. And last time out, obviously didn't go your way. I do want to start with that. How do you mentally like bounce back from that? Because it was a harsh loss in New York City. And now you have a chance to right the wrong back home again in Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. So always in my career, I've always told myself since the beginning, you know, this is a possibility. I could get finished or knocked out. And to just have short-term memory, you know, either win or lose, I'll enjoy it or sulk in it for a week. After that week's over, on to the next thing. And um, my biggest fear was what happened, you know, and I, I kept that in my head for, for months and for years, building it up, fighting at MSG, and God forbid this happens. And I, I feel like I almost manifested it in the wrong way, you know, and that's what happened. So now that it did happen, I feel free. You know, now I could just go in Saturday night, this is my hometown, you know, like I fought here so many times. I've, I've won the Ring of Combat belt and defended it here so many times. Now I just feel free. I really, I feel like I have nothing to lose and I could just go be my true self now. I feel like when a fighter gets knocked out or finished, they go one or two paths. They either do what you're doing, which in my opinion is the right mindset to have, or they let it affect them and you never really see the same fighter again. So you having that mindset, very excited to see it play out in this next fight and for the rest of your career, man. And it all starts with Conor Matthews, his UFC debut. What are your thoughts on Conor? How do you see this fight playing out? Yeah, Conor's tough. You know, um, he came on contender. He had a tough goal with Francis Marshall, who's from, from Jersey as well. He came back and... Uh, Got a decision win, you know, a tough, tough victory. So he's tough, he's durable. I definitely respect him. I respect his skills. Um, and he was former military, you know, so I, special operations. So I really respect that in him. I respect him as a person. But uh, just Saturday night, man, my skills are going to pay the bills. And uh, I have more experience. And just where I'm at, the way I've been training, I just feel like a completely different person, man, better than ever. And the, the Dennis that I've seen in myself, you know, that little movie you have in your head, I've been seeing it in the training, and Aljo and the guys have been seeing it in training. And, you know, I say and they all say this is the best I've ever looked in the gym. And I just, I'm so, I haven't been this excited to fight in a long time. And, I mean, you train with some of the best. Aljo, Marab, Steamroller, mm -hmm. the, whole, the whole Longo squad, man. So tell me a little bit about camp. Who's going to be in your corner? So I got uh, Ray Longo, obviously, the head coach in the corner. I got Aljo. He's coming out. Even though it's two weeks before his fight, he was like, man, I got to be there for your first win. You know, he just... He wholeheartedly believes in it so much that he's flying from Vegas to come corner me two weeks before his UFC 300 fight and then flying back. Um, and then I got another friend of mine who I've been working with, the coach, uh, Selman Barisha, Albanian guy. He's, he's a coach out of uh, All Stars in Sweden, he trains with Hamza and them. So I got him helping me out. He's been helping me out for the camp. And uh, it's just been like a perfect formula, the way everything evolved. And with them in the corner, man, I feel good. And... Uh, it's just great chemistry, and it's just going to be time to go and let it, let, it, let it all go and get this win. I know you're late, laser focused on Connor Matthews, but if you're able to look ahead at all, UFC's talking about coming back to Newark in June. MSG is usually a November thing. So, how do you see the rest of your year playing out, assuming everything's healthy and good after this one? Um, I definitely want to fight early summer or like, you know, yeah, early summer, midsummer type of thing. Um, if I'm healthy, which I'm sure I will be, you know, I, I've been so active, both fighting every like three, four months. Um, so fight like midsummer, early summer, take some time, enjoy Europe, you know, go to Albania, maybe go to Dubai, see where my friends are at and hang out. And then, um, fall one more in the fall. So I think that would be a perfect year for me. And then I didn't have this question written down. I just, it came to me earlier in media day because we did talk to Jamal Emers, your last fight mm -hmm. and something he said that was interesting, very honest. He said, I want every fight I've ever lost back, whether that's regional or UFC. He's like, you know, I always want to fight back that I lost. So I'm wondering do you feel the same way? Do you ever see you and Jamal fighting again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's funny. I remember a while ago I saw I was at the Apex with Shelby and Melsic was fighting. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, give me the rematch. Give me the rematch, you know. And uh, that's just a competitive nature, you know, like Melsic, Sean Woodson, Emmers. I like all of them, you know, especially Woodson. Like I talk to him frequently. I have a lot of respect for him. I have a lot of respect for Emmers as well. Uh, he showed me a lot of respect in the cage after. So, yeah, but as a competitor, of course, you want to get that one back, you know. And especially because... With the Emmers fight, I felt like the fight was kind of just getting started. Yeah. You know, it was like, I was, 
you know, I don't want to take anything away from the stoppage or what he did. You know, of course, he threw the perfect punch. I threw, I made a mistake at the same time. Um, so that was amazing on his part. But I just feel like, you know, the fight was just going to start to warm up. You know, that's usually what it is. Sometimes I need to get hit to wake up and everything, and then I start going. But, uh, of course, I would love to get it back. But no disrespect to him or to any of them, you know, just as a competitor. I, I have respect for everyone in this game, man. Oh, totally. I mean, you guys are the most competitive, but also some of the most respectful people I've ever met in my life. That's fighters that I'm talking about. And Dennis, before I get you out of here, man, you have so many fans excited for this fight who are going to be in town watching you, watching this interview. So that being said, anything you'd like to say to everybody? Look, I just, I love all you guys. I love everyone who supported me uh, from the beginning of my career or to now, to the ones who have found out about me. Uh, every Albanian around the world, I get so much support from Albanians, man. And uh, they put me as like the, the face of Albanian MMA right now. And I'm excited to really show the true Dennis Bazukia and the, the face of Albanian MMA, man. And I, I've trained so hard for this fight. I was with Aljo, man. We were training three, sometimes four, day, four days, times a day. You know, and Aljo's like, yo, bro, chill, you know, relax. Like, you're, you're overdoing it. I was like, bro, I, I just feel it, you know? Like, I had to go train again or go get an extra run in. And he's like, man, you're crazy. But I just, something was, has been feeling different inside of me for this camp and this fight. And it's really been no pressure, you know? I haven't been thinking about anything else besides just training and being my best. But uh, to everyone, thank you guys so much. And I really hope to make you all proud Saturday night. Hell yeah, brother. Dennis, thank you so much, my man. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Pazukia. UFC AC March 30th. Check it out. Let's go, Reggie. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah,